Yo, 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 welcome back. You got James with PlayStation Ain't Dead. Uh, we're going to get into another pickups for January 2023. Not a lot to kind of go over. Um, I mean, there's some variety in here. Uh, but a lot of, like, th this month was kind of slow. So it kind of helped me, like, pick up to imports, things like that. Um, I got a big, kind of a big package coming next, or February, for this month, too. So stay tuned for that video at the end of this month. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, um, not nothing super crazy. I think the biggest highlight was probably, I guess everybody was waiting for Dead Space 2. So not Dead Space 2, but Dead Space. Uh, so I think that was kind of the biggest highlight for PS5, uh, I would say this, this year or this month. So uh, yeah, we'll jump right into it. I'll kind of get some of this bigger stuff out the way um, and then I'll jump into the other games. I almost completed the, the what's, what's it? Thanos glove. Uh, I almost got all the infinity stones. So I'll, I'll jump into that here in a little bit too. If I'm missing one infinity stone to complete that for now. So we'll see if unless there's some other stuff that come out. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hop right into it. Um, I already have the other, I guess, what, three? If you want to count the standard alone by itself. Um, but this was on clearance. A lot of stores. I know GameStop was clearancing these out for a while. Um, like 20 bucks. So I was like, you know, this is the one I didn't have. I got the ejected edition. This is the imposter edition. You get the normal crewmate edition. So I mean, there might be just, yeah, three maybe. But uh, yeah, I was like 20 bucks, can't pass that up. I'll keep it sealed. Fun game, obviously it was a port off of a mole game. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Among Us, I think you'll enjoy it. That has some, some new stuff to it. But if you can get this for 20 bucks, it, it's definitely worth it. I mean, can't pass that up, so. See, you might check your GameStop stores and see if they still have any in stock. I know mine still had the the, in, the, the imposter, not the imposter, but the crew or the ejected edition, which is a little bit more. I want to say it's maybe 40, 50 bucks. So you might check that out. You get some extra stuff with it. Um, so yeah, definitely. I think that one comes with the steel book too. So uh, next one up is Neptunius sister versus sister so um i actually got the limited edition um one of this one i got the the first one that came out in the beginning of the ps5 lifespan um which is neptunia uh reverse i want to say i think it's called that um and that's actually a ps5 exclusive not many people consider that a ps5 exclusive um but yeah it's not on any other system so that one you might want to jump on because it's not too common i should say but yeah anyway they call they're all kind of like the same kind of like if you've ever gotten like collected edition from nis they all kind of come in like these boxes but and they package the game you know by itself but there's a the game um i'm not gonna i didn't open up the first one i'm not gonna open this one but this has a steel book with an exclusive and some other goodies in here so that's a steel book or i'm the, the limited edition package for that one I'm sure there's videos out there that you can see people unboxing. I'm not unboxing it, so. Uh, but yeah, I got that. And it also came with, um, I can't, they, they have these like collector's cards that you get. I don't know, like if you, I think you can still get this on their website, but uh, my, mine came with a bunch of different other cards. So you got that card there, which is Mary uh, Fennis F, Fencer F, Snow Day Selfie. And they have like, this is number 43, number 41, this is December 2022, January 2023, and then Monster, Monpiece, this is number 42, January 2023. So they must have, they must have like different cards that come out a month maybe. I don't know. I don't follow the cards, so I'll just stay with it. And then the last thing that came with the collector's edition is this giant mouse pad. So uh, this thing is in smelling of my room, this room here, like a, like I work at a, a tire place because <laughs> with the rubber here, it smells like a, I work at a, <laughs> a auto zone or something like that. But yeah, that was pretty cool to get that. It came actually earlier um, before the game released this month. So excited to get that. Um, that's kind of it for the big stuff. The other ones are just going to be individual games. So I'll jump right into it. Uh, I actually have not played any of these games but 
think this is the best one to get. Uh, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This, the reason why I say that is because it includes all DLC on the disc. Um, so you don't have to worry about DLC codes expiring, things like that. It includes all additional adventures. Uh, you get the expansion pack of uh, Hearts of Stone, expansion pack of uh, Wild Blood and Wine, uh, plus all DLC. So if I were you, I would grab this just because all DLC is on the disc. You don't have to worry about the codes expiring, things like that. So if you buy it used, just know that everything's on the disc. Because happy to play that. I need to probably jump into it. And also it includes some other stuff based off the Netflix series too. So haven't watched the series, heard it's good. I know, uh, uh, what's the what's the dude's name? The Superman dude. I can't even think of his name. I know he's, he's off of it. Um, and he got somebody else too, so. But yeah. That's that's one of them. Uh, I think probably the biggest release this month is uh, Death Space. So uh, I, people were kind of hoping that Callisto was gonna be. I mean, I like Callisto. Um, some people didn't. Some people do. Um, I liked it. Uh, I think I like this one too. I haven't jumped in. I haven't had time to really play too many games. Been working a lot, but uh, yeah, definitely can't wait to jump into that one. I think I might pop this one in next actually after I'm done with this video. Uh let's see. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Uh so star. So this is a Red Art Games um ex not, I say exclusive but done by Red Art Games. This is a shoot 'em up. Pretty fun game. Comes with a poster if you get it. Uh definitely if you like shoot 'em ups definitely grab this one. Highly recommend. Uh, I did. I, I got a lot of like variant stuff that I needed to get. So this was uh, the last one I needed for this series, which we're, oddly enough, it's probably the hardest to get. I don't know why, uh, but it's just Godfall, the deluxe edition. So you got Godfall, you got the deluxe edition, and then you got the Ascended edition. And the Ascended, you'd see a lot more. Uh, same with the, the original, but the deluxe, um, you get. It's, it's a little harder to find. I don't know why, but got that one for the variant. Uh, the next one here is World War Z Aftermath. Uh, definitely a fun. I, I played the first one. I think I got it on PS4 when it first came out. Um, I haven't played the expansion, the Aftermath. So, and I believe this is all on its disc too. So it includes the first game plus the Aftermath um, stuff as well. I don't know. I mean, would you say? What do you guys think? What do you, you think this is in the same universe as uh, The Last of Us? As far as like zombies and things like that? Or you think it's a, in a different universe? But I uh, definitely enjoyed the first one. Uh, look at, what does it say? It says this includes the original World War Z Game of the Year edition. So um, I'll grab that. Especially all the stuff on the, on the disc itself. Uh, next one up. OG. OG games popping out with these kid nickelodeon games we got star trek prodigy supernova um i've heard actually this is actually a pretty fun game so might be something i have to jump in with the kids and check it out but yeah star trek prodigy supernova another one from og games they do a lot of like kid stuff nickelodeon stuff so now this one uh I don't know. I don't know why people didn't like it. I mean, I haven't tried it out yet. I've heard mixed reviews on both. A lot of people go off of reviews and what Metacritic says and all that stuff. Like, just play the game for yourself. Generate your own opinion. Uh, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Don't. Who cares about what everybody else says? So, uh, Forspoken. So, I'll have to pop that one in at some point. But yeah, it looks pretty dope. I, ne I didn't play the. I didn't play the demo. I think a lot of people. Didn't like. I think if it didn't come out with the demo first, people wouldn't hate them that so bad. I think the demo wasn't the best, but yeah, it looks pretty dope. Apparently, this this girl, you know, she's from New York and gets transferred back into like you know magical times and things like that. So yeah, I'll have to check that one out. For spoken. Next one. Let's go with another variant here. Uh, end up getting this cheap. This is the No Man's Sky variant because the original one got recalled. Um, if you guys 
if you recall or know that the original one has no uh, title on it, so it's just blank. So I ended up getting this pretty cheap. Happy to have that in the collection, but yeah. No Man's Sky variant with the artwork on it. We'll go with another variant. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with these 2K games. I don't know if it's just MJ, but these Michael Jordan games are just getting up crazy amounts of money. But yeah, 2K23, this is a Michael Jordan edition. There's like literally like four or five 2K versions, um, 2K23 versions this year, which is crazy. So, uh, but this one comes with a slip cover and then you got it. Same on the artwork there. So another variant I needed. Uh, is that it for the variants? No. No, I got one more. One more. All right. Uh, and then the last variant for this month, uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, this is pretty hard to get. So if you can find this, uh, I would definitely grab it just because it's very uncommon. It's going up in price. Um, you will see, some FYI, you will see uh, probably a like a rare and collectible video coming out here in a couple days after this video. Uh, this will be one of the games here. So if you find it, grab it, snatch it up. It's definitely going up. I have the uh, Ultimate Edition. Um, that one you can you can only you can only get through. Uh, I think it was the Arc, yeah, Arc Systems website or GameStop for like a limit, very limited time. So I kept that sealed and wanted to play it. So I ended up finding a copy, which I need this for the standard. So, yeah, Guilty Gear Strive, good fighting game, very good fighting game. Art style is amazing too. Uh, another one for this month, One Piece Odyssey. Um, I'm, I don't watch anime, and a lot of people like the One Piece and other animes, but this is pretty fun. Uh, I played it for a little bit when it came out, or you know, when it came out, uh, it just didn't pull me in. But uh, I think if you like one piece um i think you'll enjoy this one so next one you know what i think i don't know this generation at least for now i feel like uh serenity forge is kind of like the new metalis games because all their games come with like goodies in it so this one is dungeon munchies it's definitely a fun game it's like a like an rpg dungeon um adventure the boss fights it's like it gets to a point where it's like bullet hell shooter. So it, it's super crazy, it's fun. Like the enemies you you kill, you collect their bodies and then you cook them and then upgrade your customer, or your customer, upgrade your, uh, your person um, to battle the, you know, battle the other guys and add on to that stuff. So it's you are what you, definitely a fun game. I would definitely grab that one if you can. Uh, there is a collector's edition out there as well, too, so, but Dungeon Munchies, highly recommend that one. And kind of sticking on that same theme, another uh, Serenity Forge game, The Art of Rally. So, like, this one, another goodies thing. So, this one uh, came with, a, like, a goodie sticker. The sticker was kind of stuck to it, so, but you'll have that little sticker on it. And it comes, like, in a... It doesn't come with like your typical like Y sealed. Uh, it's like a, it's like this seal. So shrink wrap. And they all come like that. This Doki Doki, um, Art of Rally. I mean, all these Serenity Forge games that I've seen all have like this shrink wrap on it. So this one looks pretty dope. This is another. They have a collector's edition of this too. Uh, it looks pretty fun. The car gate drifting. So said they just jump in that too as well. But I think uh, Serenity Forge might be kind of another Nicholas. Because Nicholas, I feel like, even like with the Switch and PS4, they had a lot of like, all their stuff included like goodies and things like that, which is awesome because you get a game like this and it has like, you know, nothing in it. It's just, okay, cool, but give me something. If I'm spending this money on it, give me something included into it. Like, you know, to keep me, to keep me going with y'all. So uh, another one. This is a Japan exclusive. Came out on PS4 here in the United States, but uh, this is Outward Definitive Edition. So it includes all DLC as well um, on that one. So this, I think for a while, and I don't know, I haven't kind of kept up with PS4, but 
for a while, I feel like Battle Word, this game was kind of hard to get for a while, but yeah. This one plays in English uh, and includes all DLC. So, Battle Word, Word, Definitive Edition. Um, let's go with this one here. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I, I had this for PS4, I traded it in because I knew this one was coming out. Um, I never played it, but I heard good things about it. So, this is fairly cheap, brand new. I think it's 20 bucks new. So, if you want to kind of pump up your collection a little bit, I mean, I'll wait for a sale on this one, or I mean, it's 20 bucks. So, Bandai Namco, Dragon Ball, another uh, anime. Uh, we'll go with this one. This was a. This is a fun game. Uh, this is what, Wonder Boy: The Dragon's Trap. Um, I had this for. I have this for actually PS4. I just love it. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, you kind of go back and you know do the different um, back in the day like the retro mode from. I want to say this came out on the NES, I believe. Um, but yeah, definitely you gotta you know you beat these monsters or these bosses and then you gain their powers and it's gonna help you you know go uh, complete the game. But yeah recommend that highly highly recommend that. that's like probably one of my favorite games in the past a couple years uh this next one doraemon story of seasons friends of the giant kingdom this is another uh, bandai namco this is the a asia english version so looks kind of i know they have like cartoons and stuff of this of this character kind of reminds me of um animal crossing so but I know this one, you can see, you'll probably see a lot of like the Japan or Chinese ones of this one. Uh, the a Asian English one is gonna be the, probably the hardest one to find. All right, next one, we got Samurai Maiden. Uh, I was trying to get the Asia English or the Chinese copy of one, but uh, they sent the wrong version, but they, they, they hooked it up and gave me some money back on it so I appreciate that uh, but yeah this is uh, this plays in English as well this is a hack and slash game Samurai Maiden and currently this is uh, Japan or Asia uh, exclusive too so I don't know if we'll ever get this one here but it looks pretty dope if you like hack and slash games I think you'll enjoy that one uh, not to be confused with homie the clown Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Degrade myself, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, we don't play that. We got Ayo the Clown. So this was a this is an Asia Asia soft game mixed with you know limited run. Um, I think on their site they said 400 copies of this, but they're also putting it on their Amazon store. So if you want to grab that. I'm sure this is probably 99 copies or a thousand copies of this game, so you might want to grab it before it's too late. But it looks like a little fun kid game. But Ao the Clown, not to be confused with Homie the Clown. <clears throat> Homie, don't play that. Uh, next up, we'll go with these two here. This is uh, the Legend of Heroes one and two. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel like I thought we were getting these in the states, but maybe not. So if, if we are, if you see anything, let me know. If we are, I'll get them and then I'll get rid of these. But uh, yeah, Legend of Heroes. I haven't played any of these games before. So let me know if these are good to check out. But yeah, I got one, two, Crimson Sun. So there's those two. Uh, we'll go with the Infinity Stones here. So I'm missing one of uh, these so far, but you got the Asterisk and Obelix game. So you got Asterisk and Obelix XXL, uh, Row Mustard, <laughs> Row Mustard. So these are like um, like 3D platformer games, like with a lot of comedy and stuff in it. Uh, but you got the first one here, which is remastered, remostered. Uh, you got Asterisk and Obelix Double XL Dos Two. You got Asterisk and Obelix Double XL Three. I can't pronounce that. Some, some, something of the Crystal. Uh, so we got that one there. 
And then four is on the way. It's it's wrapped up with another another game. I'm getting so I'll have it by end of this month. Um, but the kind of the spinoff, which is Asterisk Notebooks, slapped them all. Uh, this is more like a beat 'em up game. It's like a, uh, it's like a side scroller beat 'em up. Um, I think I think I'd probably play this one first, um, just because it looks the funnest. But yeah, if you guys are a fan of Asterisk and Oblix, um, they have all four of the games, five with the spinoff on PS5. So you got them right there. And I hate those white spines, like it's killing me with these white, like wrapping around. Like why, why is this one wrapped around? But you got these ones just plain white, it's just so stupid. Anyways, uh, last but not, actually I got one more thing other than this. Uh, last but not least as far as games go. Uh, something I probably shouldn't open, but it is called Do Not Open. So this is another horror uh, survival game. Perk games, uh, Do Not Open, Hide, Solve, or Die. So I don't know if I should open this or not. What do you guys think? If I should, this would be the last video you see me. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, it looks pretty dope. I might have to check this out. Um, it's like scary, uh, you're in this house, like scariness creatures and puzzles that you get to solve. Escape the house uh, while dealing with a mysterious paranormal threat stalking you. So it's pretty cool. Um, I reached out to these guys because there's another game that I that I, I got from them that's coming as well that I asked them as well, like, are they guys coming out with, you know, a North America version? They said right now, not at this time, but I've seen in the past where they, they have. So for instance, like Lake, I had Lake from Perk, Perk um with the european copy and then like six months later so they came out with the in the summer they came out with the north american copy which was cool i got rid of that and got that one but and i'll do the same with this one but this this looks pretty cool do not open i guess i want to open it but last but not least uh and a lot of you guys might know this but a lot of uh, like retro music styles are coming back and it's been out for a little bit but like vinyl tapes all that stuff but i was lucky to get the golden eye 007 orchestra this is the golden gun variant so the vinyl was like a it's all gold so um this was got by enjoy the ride records i want to say this is only 55 or sorry maybe 500 of these available or maybe less i can't remember uh this is number 133 but i was definitely uh, glad to get this when it went up it uh, went out, like, sold super quick within, like, five minutes. So, we got a couple other variants, too. Um, but I was kind of glad to get the Golden Gun. I know this just released on the Switch and um, Xbox. Some people, I mean, <clears throat> it's funny that people ask for the game. And then when it comes out, like, what? <laughs> They're like, why? They, like, they hate it. So, it's like, you can't please anybody nowadays. So, uh, but, yeah, I, I put hours and hours of this game back on the N64 so uh, probably one of my favorite movie franchises too so who's your guys' Bond? Uh, Pierce Brosnan was my Bond just because I grew up with him but uh, I did like Daniel Craig as well too so who's your guys' Bond? Uh, did you guys play in the 007 GoldenEye on the Switch or the Xbox? Let me know I wanted to come on PlayStation just so I could play it a little more but uh, anyways that is it for my pickups for January 2023. I'm James with PlayStation Ain't Dead. Peace.